dude it has been the most stressful thing trying to start filming <laughs> like all my equipment this past month has completely gone to shit like caca doo doo boopy like horrible i did a tiktok and i put it on my instagram of this makeup look and you guys seem to love it so usually um you would want to put like moisturizer or primer something along that so your skin can be a little more prepped but since i'm literally going nowhere i'm doing absolutely nothing just staying home probably gonna take a couple pictures and that's it i'm not gonna bother um i'm using il maquillage their foundation their woke up like this foundation um i'm taking it on their brush just a few little spots here and there this is a very um this foundation is a very light to medium coverage if you go back on my old makeup videos i would never use foundation i was not a foundation girl at all and now i am but i still don't like full face foundation like full coverage foundation i only like sheer to medium like i like buildable stuff because one night maybe i want to go all out but that's like one out of ten times i go out usually it's just real nice and natural after foundation i'm gonna use also from il maquillage their concealer this is the correcting cream concealer mostly in the inner corner and just drag it out and then i'm also gonna put some on my eyelids i do like that we have more daylight now i think that's pretty cool that we have more daylight <laughs> dude can you tell i don't know what to talk about when i do makeup videos like what am i supposed to converse about you feel me i don't even know like sometimes i feel like i'm just really fucking boring but i don't even know what to talk about so we're just gonna have to deal with this with awkwardness and not knowing what to say i'm gonna take the laura mercier translucent powder get just a tad of that and i'm just gonna lightly not lightly but like i'm just gonna bake my my eyes i'm gonna put it underneath i'm gonna put actually quite a bit underneath my eyes and then on my lid too and this is just so i can start minimizing um the creases and i'm also gonna i'm gonna hit my smile line right here all right we're gonna keep it at that for a second i'm gonna take my fenty beauty match sticks and i'm gonna go ahead and hit right here just gonna find my cheekbone huh just find that bone and just bam it's right there i'm gonna do underneath my jaw make sure i find my bone take it up like that just i'm not gonna do anything on my forehead because this is a little too harsh on my forehead all the brushes i use are also in my description they're like in the description of every single one of my videos i'm just gonna take a big big fluffy with the translucent powder um i'm gonna get a little bit of that powder and just take off what i had on my eyes and smear it everywhere i am taking my eyebrows look insane Damn, I don't have anything to brush out my brows with. I'm just gonna. I'm gonna brush them with my nail. Um, I'm gonna take the MAC bronzer in Refined Golden. 
take it on a fluffier angled brush and I'm just gonna go over what we just did focusing it mainly up here remember we want our face to look lifted the sharpest jawline we could ever have and then we're gonna hit the forehead like basically in the hairline just go crazy in there and then I'm just gonna take a little bit and put it on the sides of my nose all right that's it makeup's done <laughs> okay so for blush I like to use the Fenty another Fenty um, their cream blush in rose latte and I like to use this thing okay I'm pretty sure this is a foundation brush this is supposed to be oh wow a lot of powder this is supposed to be a foundation brush but I use it to like you see how it goes along my cheekbone that's what I use it for so I'm just gonna dabble in there and just use it to go along and yeah I, I don't know how to speak um you see what I'm doing I'm going with my cheek all the way up here and then just taking it like that and then I'm just gonna put some on the top of my nose I think that looks cute for highlighter on my cheekbones I'm gonna use the makeup by Mario um, glitter this is the master crystal reflector I'm gonna take a little brush like this like something tiny just so I can get it precisely like you feel me you feel me like precisely then I also put a bit on the tip of the nose and down the bridge very skinny I'll put some now on my brow bone I don't know why I question marked that, but all right. Now we're gonna work on our eyeballs. I'm gonna be using this is the only eyeshadow palette that I own. It's the Nikita Morphe one. It has hella colors anything I'd ever need in my entire life so I'm, I'm okay I'm gonna take like a medium sized oh my god okay I'm gonna take like a medium sized um, crease brush and I'm gonna go in with the color prima donna prima donna it's this color right here hopefully you're picking up on that this one right here dabble into that one a bit and I'm gonna hit my crease. I'm gonna be messy with it. I don't really care about precision. I just want the depth. You feel me? And then I also like to focus on like flicking it out. I don't know if you can tell me doing that. That's literally the only color we're using from that palette. We're gonna go back in with the Makeup by Mario highlighter that we use, the Crystal Reflector. I'm gonna take a little eeny weensy weensy brush like this. Oh, and then we're just gonna put this, my bad, I just burped. We're gonna put this on the inner corner of our eyeballs. I forgot what that was called. It is called the inner corner, Gabby. Being so dumb in front of your friends. I always forget to do this before eyeliner and then my eyeliner will look like shit because I put my eyeliner in the inner corner too and then I'll forget to do this first and then the eyeliner just looks all faded and nasty so make sure you do your inner corner before you do eyeliner I have this I'm pretty sure I got this at like CVS or Walgreens or something like that it's Laura Geller eye calligraphy eyeliner um we're gonna draw on a wing but it's gonna be very minimal very cute wing this is a brown eyeliner by the way not black brown so um 
I like to draw from the outer in now. So let's say I want it to start here. I'll do it out and come in. It makes it easier to know exactly where the wing is gonna stop and where it's gonna be. So. Okay. I'm pretty much running out of this. But, okay. I'm gonna try and see if it'll last me to do the inner corners. Okay, I drew like the actual smallest inner corner wing. Now I'm gonna use the MAC eyeliner in Photographer. This one's more like a pencil. And I'm gonna use this to start shading like in between, in between the two corners of my eyes. I'm just gonna super lightly create a little line like that see the difference see the difference it's like this one just looks a little more put together that's it for the eyes really now i'm just gonna go in with some mascara and this is the benefit roller lash i love how i read it like if i don't know what this is and like i haven't been using it for years so what I like to do with my mascara is I will, first of all, see the difference. Okay, so what I like to do is I will do my outer corners a lot. Like I'll coat my outer corners like, ow, fuck, <laughs> like crazy. So I'll just coat my outer corners like really like a lot. And then I will pass through my inner lashes, but barely. I want the longest like length to be in the outer corner. I also do my bottom lashes because bottom lashes are just as important as the top. Last but not least, I have been doing a lip combo that is my absolute favorite and I don't think I'm ever gonna go back but I take Max Lip Liner in Chestnut Lip Pencil in Chestnut and I line my lips like normal I just line, I line my lips like normal I don't overdo it I literally go right around my lips and then I kind of like blend it or drag it in the middle. Not all the way, but I like that. I get a finger, <laughs> I get my finger and just and then let me go get it because it's over there my holy freaking grail okay this thing right here this thing right here this is the dior lip glow oil and i got the orange one in shade 004 this is the orange looking one i have never gone back to any other lip gloss Boom. And that's it for the makeup. It's real nice and cute, very natural. Nothing, nothing. Now, if I were to be going out somewhere, I'd use Max Fix, Mac Fix Plus Setting Spray. Now, let's just figure something out. Let's figure something out pretty quickly with this hair. Oh my God. I'm just gonna fluff it, fluff it out. But whatever, it's gonna. Dude, it's like. 
if I told you that I literally have you on a suitcase right now, <laughs> I'm gonna show you how I take my pictures too. Um, my hair is a little crazy, okay, but with the power of pictures and being in the moment, I just flip my hair a certain way really quick and I get the perfect photo, okay? So it doesn't really matter how it looks now, okay? This right here is the window of choice. And this is where the most light comes through my house. So I'm gonna open it though. So I get better light. No, you can't even see me, but whatever. Let me put you like right here. Anyway, I'm just gonna take my little picky pakes. my little my little plot going on here I'm gonna insert pictures of choice here I hope you like this video it kind of sucked I, I know I wasn't in the best mood um, I know I wasn't in the best of moods and that is because all my equipment is going to shit at the current moment but um, what are we gonna do, right? What are you gonna do? You have to take what you have and make the best of it. It's a beautiful day out. See that? It's a really pretty day. I'm enjoying it. I'm all done up. I look cute. That's it. <laughs> I love you so much, thank you guys. I'm extremely grateful for every single one of you and for all the new people joining my journey and my life. And you guys are awesome. Truly, utterly awesome. <laughs>